In this video, we're looking at one last type of error problem. Um, we're given e to the x, and we're, say, we're told to approximate e to the x using its third degree Maclaurin polynomial. And then we're asked to determine the values of x for which the function can be replaced by the Taylor polynomial if the error in using this polynomial to um, approximate this function cannot exceed 0 0.01 or 0 0.001. Um, so we know this is our Taylor polynomial, and we know that the error in the approximation is equal to this. Oops, that should be n plus 1. I'm sorry. And we know that that's less than or equal to the maximum value of the absolute value of the n plus 1th derivative of the function evaluated at x for x between the center of the series and the x value where we're evaluating this. We're told that x is negative. So this is for x on an interval from x to 0. So x is a negative number. That should be factorial. OK. Now in order to um, evaluate this, or we need this um, maximum error to be less than 0 0.000 or 0 0.001. Um, in order to find the values of x for which the function can be approximated by this Taylor polynomial, we've got to solve this inequality for x. Now it looks, it looks like a mess, it looks like you've got way too many variables here, but we really don't. Um, we can approximate all of this. Um, if we can't solve this algebraically, we can always solve numerically, but that we need to identify a few things in order to do that first. Um, so first I need to under, I need to identify n. See we're using a Taylor uh, or a Maclaurin polynomial of degree 3. So n equals 3. So if n equals 3, that means n plus 1 is equal to 4. And so what we need is the maximum value of the fourth derivative of our function on the interval from x to 0 times the absolute value of x to the n plus 1, so that's x to the fourth, over um, n plus 1 factorial, so that's 4 factorial. So really the only unknown in this um, equation is the maximum value of this function on this interval. Well, we're told that our function is e to the x, and it's actually very fortunate because that means our calculations are going to be brief. Um, oops. Function's e to the x, so the first derivative is of course e to the x, second derivative is e to the x, and you continue in this way, third derivative is e to the x, and of course the fourth derivative is e to the x. So we're told that x is negative. We want to maximize this function, y equals e to the x. On the interval from x to 0, I think we can all see just from the shape of e to the x that the maximum value of the function occurs at 0 and, and that maximum value is 1. So just from this graph, we can say that the maximum value of the absolute value of this. That's the maximum value of e to the x on the interval from x to 0 is e to the 0, which is 1. So I can replace this whole piece with 1. And I get this really simple inequality. I get the absolute value of x raised to the fourth over 4 factorial has to be less than 0 0.001. So we're just going to solve for x. Multiply both sides by 4 factorial. And then take the fourth root of both sides. And you'll get the absolute value of x is less than 
0 0.001 times 4 factorial, it's 4 times 3 times 2. And then take that whole thing and you're taking the fourth root, so raise it to the 1 fourth power. And you get the absolute value of x has to be less than 0 0.394 approximately. So that means x has to be between 0 0.394 and or negative 0 0.394 and positive 0 0.394. So I think that's probably the easiest one of our error approximation problems. Um, but we know that our function, our error has this form. And we can say, well, that has to be less than or equal to the maximum value of this derivative on this interval from the x value where we're approximating the function to the center. If I can find an upper bound for that maximum, then I just solve this inequality for x. Um, and also, since we knew that n is equal to 3, we were able to substitute that. This is the we needed the maximum value of the fourth derivative, and this was an absolute value of x to the fourth, and that's a four factorial. Um, so once we substituted that, it was just as, as easy as finding the maximum value of this function on this interval. And fortunately, it was e to the x, and we know that's increasing, and so the maximum value was a one on the interval from x to zero, because we were told, and we had to be told this, that x was, was negative. Um, so we got that was less than one, and that was enough to say that this is less than that and we just solve the inequality for x. Very, very simple.